Hope everybody's having a, a really good day. The Lord visited me with a dream, just a very, very powerful dream. This dream that the Lord gave me is full of details, and I've just been praying over, over this dream, and I know with everything that's within me that this is a very powerful video for America. It's, it's a wake-up call for a lot of people. It's also the Lord letting us know that we are in such a very crucial time. This video is very crucial to the body of Christ and everybody who is going after the things of the Lord. So I just uh, thank you for being on here with me, and I'm just going to dive into this dream, okay? Also, I'll be sharing this at 2.30 today on Facebook Live. So when this dream started, I was sitting outside of a very nice house with a very good ministry friend of mine. Now, this house that we were on was on top of a hill, and we were sitting in his driveway, and beside him was a big red truck. And then all of a sudden, as we were sitting there, a lady comes up from behind us, kicks him with a pair of high heels on this lady, what was dressed very provocative, very scandalous. She kicked him in his chest. He fell to the ground as if he was pinned to the ground. As he fell to the ground, he could barely lift his head up. Well, she pulled out like this big chainsaw, cut his truck real quickly into eight, eight different times, left it into nine pieces. She turned around, grabbed my hand, and as soon as she grabbed my hand, the spirit of perversion was all over her. I yanked my hand back, and then she handed me a card, and it said, Adult Entertainment. Well, I threw the card down, ran over there to my friend, and tried to pick my friend up with a dream. His face was just devastated, full of confusion. I could not lift him from the ground. And I said, you've got to get up. You've got too much to do with your life. He said, I cannot get up. And his face was just devastating. So I turned around and looked where the lady was standing. She was no longer there, nor was the car. Remember, I said the house was on a hill. She was halfway down the hill, walking down the hill. When I got to the, when I looked at the bottom of the hill, there were people running a 5K. Instantly, I took off running to warn the people. But I noticed the people running the 5K, they were not like, a, um, very serious runners but they were enjoying the run if that makes sense when I got down there all of the people running the 5k you know they had their, their numbers on across their numbers they were all churches ministries or charitable organizations that they were part of well this provocative woman was trying to give them cards well, a few people would look up at her. She was at a place where they would have to get out of the race and grab the card, then get back in the race. And I said, what are you doing to these people? And she said, I will entertain anybody that will entertain me. Now, this was a spirit. As I was warning the people, the lady turned. There was a sidewalk right by the road. Remember, the house was up on a hill. It was at the bottom of the hill. She took a left and started walking on the sidewalk. So I turned around and started walking on the sidewalk to the right. And then all of a sudden, I walked in into this beautiful business district, and there was a beautiful, just real tall building. It was really nice. But I noticed there were a lot of people who were like doing landscaping. But what they were doing is they were hiding weaponry in like bombs. And th these one groundskeepers pulled like a big statue over and placed this huge bomb underneath it. Different people were hiding stuff in the bushes and along the walls, and they were hiding stuff in the ground. Well, then all of a sudden, a big black limo comes up, and this black limo, when it pulls up, all these people gather around it. A, a very well-dressed man walked up, hold, holding his son's hand. He started walking towards the limo. Now, the guy's nationality, I've never seen anybody that looks like that, and I think that's very specific in the dream. He, he walks up, and right before he got to the limo, there was like a mob of people running after him. Now, the people that were running after him in the dream were all different ethnic backgrounds from all different nationalities. Um, leading the, leading this, as, as people were running towards this gentleman getting in the car, 
there was like a peace of God about them. And it was like a, a victory chant was coming from them. One of the guys in the forefront, he was looked like he was from an a Asian descent. He was a doctor. There was an African-American football player, I mean, in full uniform. Right beside him was a lady running, a Caucasian lady. And she had a baby in one hand pushing a stroller, which I think that this symbolizes professional, you know, I'm like, profession like a doctor, professional athlete, and then a lady that was running was like a stay-at-home mom. And then behind them were all types of people from different backgrounds, different ethnic backgrounds. But I noticed one thing that was kind of peculiar. A few rows back of these people running towards this limousine and this man, they were like, they looked like pioneers from the 17 and 1800s. There were pioneers, looked like pilgrims. There were people that were like, like, like Indians and they had on their attire as Indians. And you look at people that were dressed like in the 1800s, the 1900s. And all of these people were coming and they ran up to the guy in the limousine right before he got in, grabbed him, and then a guy shot him. But nobody was worried that he shot him. And then I woke up and I said, and so I'm going to go back through the whole dream and explain everything. When the dream started, I was talking to a friend of mine in ministry who lived up on a hill. It was a platform that he was upon. He had got to a certain place in a platform, but because of a secret thing in his life came in, try, tried to destroy him. What the Lord is saying, there are so many crucial leaders in the body of Christ, in the church, in business, all parts of America that you better deal with your secret sin or you're about to be exposed. Now, big trucks in a lot of um, big trucks in dreams a lot of times symbolize big ministry ministries. Well, when this woman cut this thing up, she cut it in eight, she cut it eight times in nine parts. It was not repairable. My friend that was on the ground looked at it and said, it is unrepairable. I looked at him. He was pinned to the ground. And in this dream, he could not get up. There are people that if you do not turn from secret things in your life, your life as you know it is about to be destroyed. That lady came over to me. And when she grabbed my hand, you just felt a spirit of perversion. And she gave me a card. I threw the card down. It said adult entertainment and ran over to my friend. And I feel that there's attack, uh, uh, extra just like perversion coming towards so many people. You have to use wisdom and discernment. Then the next part of the dream is at the bottom of the hill, these people were running 5Ks. And, and like I said, all these people had their, their running numbers like in a race, but they were all from different charitable organizations. There were churches, ministries, all of these things going on. And she was trying to pull people off of the race. What the Lord is saying, if you are leading a ministry, a business, whatever it may be, if God has called you to do something, stay in the race. Keep running. Do not look to the right. Do not allow any seductive spirit to pull you aside. I also feel the Lord saying, do not allow anything to pull you off your mandate. Do not allow anything to pull you off to the side. In this hour, there are going to be so many distractions, so much confusion, trying to pull people away from what they're doing. Now, one thing God showed me, a lot of these ministries that were running, they were like, I saw one lady, it said, um, like, Young, young single mothers. Another one was ministry to the homeless. Different ones were like Christmas outreach to the unfortunate. Your ministry is so powerful to the body of Christ. You are going to minister to so many people. And I feel the Lord saying that so many people are getting pulled aside. You are being confused because in this season, your ministry, you are launching something powerful. You are launching something that is so valuable. And then as I walked on to this bigger business district, I felt the Lord say that there are all around, there are so many things that are deception. They were the different weaponry and bombs that were hid in so many areas. They are hid right now in common sight. The Lord is saying that we have got to be full of discernment in this hour. Now, as this gentleman came down, holding his son's hand. The, the boy was probably, I'm going to guess, 10, 12 years old. You could tell that he was, they were both well-dressed, very well-presentable, 
but they had an evil motive. Now you got to understand sometimes things that don't look harmful, you have to use discernment. You are about to walk in a greater level of discernment in this hour. God is calling his people to walk in discernment. And then as that gentleman tried to get into the car, what the Lord spoke to me, this is one of the keys of this dream. These people that were running were from today and before America was even formed. And what I felt the Lord was saying, are y'all ready? Since even before America was formed, I've always had a remnant of people. All of this remnant have always been from different nationalities, different ethnic backgrounds, different occupations. They're all different, but I've always had a remnant. This remnant has always been able to uncover the plans and the schemes that the enemy has planned to destroy America. And this, these people, I called them like a mob, they came and grabbed this gentleman at, at the right time, right before he got into the limo to drive off. And I feel the Lord saying, now go back to the very first of the dream. Remember, after they got that gentleman, they were able to go back and, and detect every thing that was planted to harm people. I felt the Lord say that God right now is calling his remnant to be full of discernment. He's calling the remnant forth right now. Do not fall asleep. Do not go towards things that will pull you out of the race and run hard after everything that God has. Now, one thing that the Lord showed me was this gentleman in my dream lived in a house up on top of a hill. He had a big red truck. Remember, bigger vehicles a lot of times mean powerful ministry or like business and dreams. He had got to a place, but he lost sight of how he got put up there. He had been put up on the pedestal. So what you have to understand is when God continues to elevate you, you have to keep your time in prayer strong and you have to keep your place with the Lord, the priority of your life. This was a very crucial word I feel for the body of Christ. It is a word that is full of warning, but it is also a word that is full of hope for America, that God has a remnant that can spot out the attacks of the enemy. So I encourage you, my friends, to to stay in that place with God because he's about to elevate you. And I think that the Lord is about to give a lot of people more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the days ahead. Amen. How I end every video is people always ask me, how can I get more connected with what you're doing? You can go to our website, jojodawson.net. We have all of our blogs on there. We've got all of our videos. We have a lot of YouTube videos. People always ask, where can I partner? And so you can find all that out there. Thank you. And go ahead and share this on whatever social media platform you're going to find this video on. A lot of people share these videos, and I thank you for that. And remember, you've got something powerful inside of you to do for the body of Christ because God never sends anybody to this earth without a purpose or plan. So go after your God-given dream and do all that God's called you to. God bless.